Hey, what's up guys? Travis Fulton here and welcome to Online Gains. Each week, I'm gonna be sharing with you real insight on how I'm developing players all across the world on full swing, short game, and putting. Be sure to tune in. All right, so let's take a look at the swing here from face on. I've got a line there right next to your right leg. And I want you to watch your right hip here as you turn. See that little sway there? Your hip kicks out laterally this way. Okay, past that red line. We've got to get that right hip to turn more back behind you. Okay, it's going to feel like your right hip is going to turn more back or maybe even a bit more around towards your left heel. Anytime we have a sway, lower body sway lateral to the right, we want to fix that. And in your situation, which I'll show you from the target line as well, uh, it's going to do a lot for you in the way of your swing shape. Now, from here, you can see you move your weight back to your left foot, return the shaft there pretty darn good. And then from there, the right foot comes up and you finish nicely facing the target. All of this is going to get much cleaner, though, as we fix that sway. So I'm going to show you how to turn your right hip more around towards your left heel and the net effect of that to what it's going to do to your lead arm and the club is going to be really really conducive let me show you that next all right now from the target line view what you're going to see here is when the club goes back first move i think the club's going to be just fine here it's going to go up that red line nicely but then as you get to the top this lead arm and this lead arm starts to climb and i would say that lead arm is a little too upright. I like to get this left arm to work a little bit more around you and cover that right shoulder. Now, what we saw from the face on position with that right hip, that right hip was swaying. When we get your right hip to turn better, more around, well, then that lead arm will follow that and it'll feel more around you. Now, that's gonna be important because on the way down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this club to come down less steep and less across your body to the left. Okay, in fact, we're gonna get this club when it comes down, instead of being out there, I'm gonna show you how to get the club to be more down in here. Okay, so it's gonna feel like the club head's gonna be more behind you. It's gonna feel like you're swinging more from the inside. And I think all of that becomes a little easier to do on the downswing if we can clean up this backswing. So game plan coming here is gonna be about the right hip turning which is gonna get the left arm more around. That's phase one. Phase two then, I'm gonna show you a really good drill on how to get this club to come down more from the inside so you can hit this nice little push draw where it starts right, draws back to the left versus maybe right now you're hitting a lot of pulls and fades to the right. All right, let's get into the game plan here. The first step is we've gotta get you to turn this right hip more. I'm gonna to get to these clubs here or these alignment sticks on the ground here in a second for the second phase of your lesson, which is gonna be about getting the shaft to come down more from the inside. But first we've gotta get you some depth going back or more around the right hip versus up and down. So I want you to take your setup here and the first thing that I want you to feel is this right hip really turning and working more around and what feels like towards your left heel. Okay, you've got a fair amount of slide or sway. This hip is kicking out laterally this way and we've got to get it to turn back. And I think maybe just a bit of an exaggeration is feeling that right hip working around towards that left heel. If you were to put something up the line here of your right leg just to the outside, you would turn and create a little space in there. Okay, so a little space in between that post and that right hip. Now, I don't want you, you know, hanging out over here with your weight where you're just spinning and falling left. I don't want that. I still want you to feel like you're putting a little bit of weight into the right side, but that right hip is definitely doing something different in turning. That's number one. Number two is, is feeling the lead arm when you do that feeling the lead arm working more around you so from here you start the club nicely where the club head is here then feel that lead arm work around and it'll follow that right hip 
think a good checkpoint for you is that left arm covering that right shoulder, okay? So not up here, but more around here. Now, the only thing you gotta be careful with when you turn the hip and you round out the left arm is make sure you're just not sucking the club head inside. You do a nice job of keeping it out here. Okay, nice job of the club head kind of starting out here and then the left arm working around following, uh, following that right hip. So that combination is going to really help you through the bag. You'll see some value in the irons, but you'll probably really see the value with the driver. That's kind of phase one. I would really work on that first. And as you get comfortable with that, then the next step is you'll be set up to bring it down more from the inside. Now what I have here is I have this white alignment stick going right towards the center of the simulator here. And then I've got this orange stick coming down about 45 degrees, somewhere in there. It's on an angle, as you can see, from the inside, inside the target line. And then of course out here with a PXG bag, that would be outside the target line. We saw on your swing that when you would come down, of course you were up here, you would then kind of come down out here and then across your body this way. Now your club face angle is, is good. I mean, it's, it's square. So you're probably hitting a lot of pulls. And if it doesn't pull, then it slices back to the right, probably as the club gets longer. So now that you're gonna turn better and you've got the lead arm working more around you with some depth, now we can start to feel like the club kind of pitches back. We can start to get the sense that the club head is gonna kind of feel back behind us and let's say match more up to this orange stick, which is a little exaggerated, but I think a good visual for you to feel the club come down and match up. Okay, so you can see how that matches up. I'm gonna take that just a little less in an angle somewhere in there and start to feel that match up. Now, of course, I'm not out here. I'm more back down in here. And then when I turn, I really feel like this club head traces this stick and it feels like the club head is gonna exit a little bit more out in front of me. Okay, which is gonna get the ball uh, to, to help start a little bit more to the right and then draw back to the left. Now, some of the things through impact may take some reps to kind of work itself out, but I promise you, if you start getting the sense of turning the right hip, left arm rounding out, and then the club pitching back and matching up to this orange stick from the inside, and I would do that a number of times, and then through. Okay, so I really, like that drill right there and matching that up, feeling that, feels like the club's exiting a little bit more out in front of you. It's gonna feel like the club face wants to kind of rotate over a little bit more through the impact zone. And you'll just have more room versus being out here and then really being bottled up. So I think as you, as you develop this, the, 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 great, the best thing that you have going for you is the club face angle, and that is a huge component to have. The club face looks nice. Let's get the backswing better. Let's round it out with the turn in the lead arm, and then let's start pitching it back and getting it from the inside on this orange stick. Do it slow, get the ball to start more right, then let the club face start turning over, starts to the right, draws to the left, and I think you will develop um, much better, especially as the club gets longer.